recording. Hey guys! Wait, wait! Welcome, welcome back, back to. Ah, we welcome wait. back to. Wee. I said, welcome back to. No, don't be angry, pig. Ew! I eat pie. No. Today we're eating this. Look at this meat. Look at these peas. I'm hungry. <laughs> look at these potatoes. Look at these salad. Salad with uh, balsamic vinegar. Well, it's oil and balsamic vinegar. No. These, what it was this meat that I bought? Beef. Short ribs. Yeah, so thick from Costco um, beef short ribs that I did in the Instapot, so it was like super fast. Mashed potatoes that I made and blueberries. Peas and salad. And blueberries. And gravy, of course, because you can't have. Well, you can have. And I have potatoes. lemon water. What do you have? I have lemon water as well. We both have lemon water. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, my son. Heavenly son. Father, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this new day, and I just thank you that we are going to be welcoming a new member to our family soon. And I just pray that we will all, that me and Mom will have the a very good, healthy meal together, and I pray that you just bless the food of our body and Jesus' name. Amen. Oh man. Okay. So, oh yes. Right now I'm trying it. My fork went straight through the ribs with ease. Mm -hmm. There's no barbecue sauce? Um, nope, gravy. Oh. That is really good. Excuse my reach. I'll do that. <laughs> but did you try it without gravy first? Mmm. So this gravy I just added cornstarch to instead of flour. So you know. I don't know. Alright, let's try with the gravy. Okay. Gravy looks very hot. Too hot for my tongue. It was a good marinade. It's actually quite sweet. Oh, I guess there was sugar in the marinade. Are you ready? Cheers. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. ate before. Suspicious. I'm growing a human being. Waiting for food is hard. Oh yeah. So in the salad this time we got blueberries and dried cranberries. Yep. But the meat's the best part. Is it? Mm hmm Because salad's healthy. I eat too much healthy food. I need more candy and sugar. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. You guys got plenty of candy and sugar. I'm sure if I asked your home and opa or grandma and grandpa, they'd be like, yep, those kids got lots. Only for videos. Balance. Obviously. You gotta have balance in your life. Right? Try your peas. What's your favorite kind of meat? Do you have a favorite Sheep kind of meat? or ribs? Yeah, ribs are good. True story. Do you like, or, do you care if they're beef ribs or pork ribs? Or do you not care? No, it doesn't really matter. But, mm. I also um, like salmon. Smoked mm -hmm. salmon, raw salmon. They're both meat. Tuna, raw tuna is also okay, but I prefer salmon. 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 What else would it be? I should show them some of your drawings. Mm -mm. Just one paper? Mm -mm. Please? Mm -mm. No. Maybe once I'm a pro driver. No, because it'll be so cool to see the progression over the years. You'll like it, being able to see the progression looking back. 
Yeah, but everyone's like, oh, he's just flexing on his art. He probably traced it. No, I want to show. No, you don't trace anything. I know, but people might think that. People used to think that. So? You just be real and true to who you are, and who cares what people think? Not me! No, yeah, exactly. You shouldn't. I definitely People don't. are always going to think good, bad. Whatever. I am a star. You can't change anybody's mind. Oh, you gotta yeah. do what you do. Yeah. I didn't turn the microphone on. You just restart. But can I? <laughs> our friend's almost gone. But can I just show them just your one that you drew today after school? For school? Is it down there? By mm. the computer? No. Come on, please. So this <sighs> is what Salem drew today. It was for a school project that me for and my friends were working on. For science, we had to create a hybrid of an animal. We showed him the squid or the octopus. That was my favorite part. It's called a goliathin. So what, it's like part dragon-y and... So the head is kind of Godzilla-y. Oh, okay. Which is like goliath. So... The Goliath is like big, strong sea creature, and then the head is Ga Goliath, which is like Godzilla as well. So those are the two parts, and then the other part is what's it called Leviathan. Oh, Leviathan. Leviathan. Oh, okay. Which is the it's like a sea creature or like a giant snake from the Bible. So then we added that as the tail. Hmm. Yeah. So basically your own imagination for the tail. Yeah. Cool. Because we don't know what the leviathan looks like. This meat just falls apart in your mouth. Indeed. Or comes up as one big chunk. You want to play a game? Yes. Are they good? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> this one is who's more likely to... What are you doing? I'm trying to... Okay, who's you want to go first? First question. Who's more likely to sing in public? Me. You're more likely to sing in public? Excuse yeah. Me. I would just sing like a random song, like the funniest song that came to mind. Interesting. I would say me. Really? Yeah, because when I'm, like, in the grocery store, I'll be, like, humming or whatever. I guess it depends on how loud. I don't think I'd sing, like, super loud. I would do it super loud. Hmm. Grant, who do you think? Because I feel like you're just um, attracting attention to yourself. No, I'm singing. Okay. But if you're like on a stage or something, then it's different. My question is... Oh, okay. Who is more likely to survive an avalanche? Um, probably myself. How so? I wouldn't go to dangerous mountains where avalanches are. Yeah, but if you were there... Yeah, I mean, I've read how to, what to do. Yeah, but technically, would you be able to do it fast enough? Because I'm speed. I'm gonna... When you're in the avalanche, you're kind of stuck there. Nope. You, I am so fast. I no, you can't outrun an avalanche. Is that what you're talking about? I can. Let me know in the comments below if you think me, Salem the Speedster, can outrun the avalanche. What are you doing? My salad. I know, it is your salad. You're, only, you're also running in snow, and you know how hard running in snow is. Hard. Yeah? You would not outrun it. No. I can outrun my mom. I'm not saying you couldn't outrun me. Oh, outrun the avalanche. I'm not, even think we're, I'm not even thinking we're together in the same avalanche scenario. 
wouldn't want you to be there. If an avalanche is coming down, I want you to be somewhere else that's safe. No, I would save you. Bye. The avalanche would, hey, that's my line. Okay, my turn. <laughs> Before we talk about this avalanche scenario for the next half an hour. Who's more likely to sleep through their alarm? Ah, uh, ah, uh, who just did that this morning? I was pointing to myself. Oh, okay. Then yes, you are correct, Amundo. I sleep through my alarm a lot until I, I am finished. That's how delicious it was and... Fix my mind. No, I'm not a fan of peas. What are you doing? Fix my mind. Oh, I didn't understand what you were saying. That's my mind. That's why I said that. Who is more likely to wake... To wake up of hearing a super high pitch person screaming. Me. No. Uh huh. You would be the high pitch person screaming. No. <laughs> you scream all the time. Mm -mm. Yeah, you do. Do you want me to ask your sisters? No. Oh, okay. I didn't think so. Do you scream at school? No. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, I do like maybe sometimes at recess, but not that often. I'd be interested to know what Malcolm would say. Yeah, he screams every five minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I would get in trouble if I screamed in class. You literally, we ask you not to scream at home. <sighs> Boys, gotta love him. Okay, who's more likely to go skydiving? <laughs> I have a fear of heights. Yeah, but I feel like maybe when you're older, when you're like 18 or something, you might be like, I don't know. Because when I was, actually, no, I guess I never had a fear of heights when I was young. Maybe we're different in that, in that aspect. I always wanted to go skydiving growing up and I was like, that's gonna be so cool. And then I saw how expensive it is, and I was like, oh, I don't know. And then <clears throat> my, I forget which friend it was, was like, I would never go skydiving. Have you heard about people landing and breaking their legs and blah, blah, blah? And I was like, oh, I was like, no. So in my younger years, I probably would have, but like. Didn't our biological dad go skydiving? No, he never went skydiving. He went in like. It's like a, I don't know, you can like kind of fly it, but you have like a person there with you. Mm. But it's kind of like a, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, I think actually even, I don't know if he got that for a birthday gift from his friends or whatever. He did that with um, some of his friends. Mm. Yeah, that was really cool. We've got some good pictures of that. And he loved it. He was super... He almost bailed out. That's probably where you get your fear of heights from. Aaron was, yeah, he almost bailed out at the last minute. And I was like, if you don't go, you are going to regret it. And your friends paid for you to go, so go. How could you not go, you know? All right, your turn, my turn. But I have, some, I have a comment to say that. One time when me and my family and I, my family, Malcolm and I, went to the park. I mean, that's the park. Water park. Um... I remember Malcolm came with us. Okay. And there was like this super, so it like came down and it like dropped and then went up and then you came back down. Mm hmm. That thing. What and was I, that called? Splash Park? Splash, Splash Town? Mountain? Splash. Splash Town? Bob, do you remember? Splash Town. Well, they changed the name. It was Splash Town, but they changed it to something else. Oh, okay. Oh. Anyway, it's a big water park. And with water slides and stuff. I had walked all the way up because it was super high up, and then I saw it. I was it like, took him. It took us a while to convince you. No, Malcolm convinced me. I know, but we were all like, "Just yeah. go, just go." Anyway, so when so I went up, up, that there was this one. It was, it was so funny. Okay, so there was this guy. He was there. He was like, "If you go back down, you're gonna have to wear a mask down when you go back down because you're crossing by, by a bunch of people, and it's gonna be really boring. And these masks stink, so you don't want to do it." So I was like, mm, and. Malcolm was like, we're already up here. Come on, Salem. We're going. Get your, Sit your butt down here. We're going down the slide. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. And then he was like, it's, and then the guy um, there, he was like, it's not scary at all. And then he pushed us down. 
He was like, psych, you're gonna die! <laughs> and it was it was so much fun. I did it, like, a bunch of times. Yeah, you did, actually, after that. Yep. See, because, you know, I feel like with things that aren't, like, death-related, you know what I mean, or, like, scary where you could die, like, I would probably never tell you to, hey, go skydiving. But with things like that, that's, like, fun, but you're just scared, it's, like, you don't want to... I don't know, have regrets that you didn't do stuff. Because I know with you, you have been like, oh, I regret not doing that or whatever. So I think that's why, too, it's like just, you know, I push you a little bit more. Yeah. Anyway, so our positive shout-out of the day goes to... Vicky Foster. Foster. I was going to say Forster. Foster. Forster. Thanks so much for your positivity and your kindness in the comments. We. Oui. Uh, we always look out for that, so... Thanks so much for joining us today, and we hope you guys have a Amazing great day. Amazing day. But, no, no, no. Make sure to subscribe, like, hit the comment bell, hit the notification bell, so you get notified every time, new, every time I post a new video, and comment down below, positivity, or comment down things that you want to let us know. Okay, adios, mimigos.